Hello, uh, welcome back to yet another installment of the 5 and Vehicle Development series. In this one, I will be covering the topic of mod kits. Um, more so to specify, if your mod kits don't work on your server, this should 9 out of 10 times uh, get you to fix it. So, uh, the vehicle I'll be using in this video is a fix I did of the Vapid uh, Illusion. So, it's a Illusion fix. This one. It's a base game car, Rockstar just had a flow with it, and I fixed it. So, what do I mean by broken mod kits? If I quickly open up my folder here for it, I go into the stream, I see that I have a plethora of different tuning options, all the way down to here. I have 71 tuning options to be exact. Now, surely they should just be able to apply it. That's not how that works. Because I knowingly placed a fault or a faulty a few faulty lines in my uh, meta files which is then just going to allow me to do this tutorial so um i'll essentially be covering first of all well, how you fix it second of all what actually goes into fixing it uh, and three what kind of files do you need to take a look at and where in those files do you need to look to fix the issue so i'll go ahead and leave you because i don't need it for now so I'm out here, uh, now also just base knowledge, uh, to get a vehicle's modifications options to even work, you need a car called start meta. This, uh, this comes stock for any kind of vehicle with tuning options, if it's been set up correctly. So, what I do want to peek into first is my vehicle start meta. I do want to take note of my model name, so that's SA Illusion Fix. Then I'll swing on over to my car variation start meta. Oh, huh. My model name is just Illusion, not like my model name SA Illusion Fix. So essentially what I'll do here is I'll just copy the name SA Illusion Fix, paste it over. That's ground level like what we're doing for now. We have more things to fix in the collaboration that meta file, but we won't cover that quite just yet. Again, head over to my cockles that meta file. I've got my kit name. This SA Illusion fix right here. I'll scroll down a bit more. Let's see if we can find any other model names. I don't think we have anything else in here. We shouldn't have anything else in here anyway. Alright. So now we've made sure the actual names between the vehicle set meta, car variations that meta, and car calls that meta are all the same. At least for like the model names. So the next thing we look at, uh, we don't actually need the vehicle set meta, so I'll just simply go ahead and close out of there, like so. Now, on to the car variations and car call set meta and kind of how they play together. So, for the uh, car variations that meta, actually I did just notice I did miss a single thing down here. Um, now, so to quickly just like give a rundown of what these actually do with like the underscore mod kit. The, the car variations essentially just tells the vehicle which uh, mod kit settings uh, for the vehicle to use. So in this case, all the way up, up top here, all of this stuff from this item down to... to, 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 to that would actually be this item. Let's correct that. So there you go. SA Illusion Fix runs by all of this information right here. Personally, I have no clue what they mean. I've never really cared to look into what they mean. I don't think they're that important. That's bottom line. I don't think they're very important. I don't touch them. I don't need to touch them. And then down here where it says kits, again, this is what defines what uh, kind of kit the, the vehicle is going to use. So obviously I want to use the Illusion, the Vapid Illusion body kit. Now, in my case, I've just renamed all my stuff to SA Illusion Fix, because that's what I find easiest. So I'll just hover over Buffalo S and replace that with SA Illusion Fix. I'll save that file once more. Set into car calls again to double check everything. SA Illusion Fix on the score mod kit. Now, to those of you that were quick, you might have noticed this says three SA Illusion Fix mod kit, and this says SA or well, three SA Illusion Fix mod kit. However, this then down here says two. So the way this essentially works is that 
the kit name sure okay and that's the same thing as this right here it defines what the actual name of the like kind of just like defines the name of the actual kit now the the id you've got right here needs to be the exact same as the one you've got right here now obviously it doesn't take a genius to, to find out the fact that oh three and two they're not the same number so what you can do to fix this is quite simple you select one of them whichever way you want to go uh, i'm actually going to select the two here down first uh, and then i'll simply put in a, a random five digit uh, number uh, with no repeat numbers so i'll do what do I want to do? Uh, five, seven, uh, six, three, nine. Sure. We'll try this. I'll just quickly copy this. I'll put it up in front of kit name here. Then I'll copy my entire kit name. Because again, I need this in my car variations as well. And I just saved the file. I need it in here too. So then I'll go ahead and copy this. Paste this. Save. Double check everything really quickly. Make sure everything is still as it's supposed to be. Now, quick heads up, just because you changed this once doesn't necessarily mean that it'll fix it. Um, the way you also got to look at it is if you have a, another uh, mod kit ID or an ID value of exactly 57639 in your server, this is not going to work. However, the simplest fix to that is just instead of it saying 39, make it say 40, something like that. Think of all these different IDs as like being unique, and if there's any kind of uh, clashing between two different IDs, one id is not going to work now i don't exactly know which id is not going to work uh, it could also be both for all i know uh, usually i'm pretty quick to fix these issues um, and i don't really look too much into oh what else did it break i just fix what's broken right in front of me all right so now that's done i fixed up my my kit names my ids my model names again also with the vehicles uh, that meta i fixed up my id down here should basically it. So now I'll just load in my server again. Do a restart SA Illusion fix. I'll go ahead and spawn in SA Illusion fix. Now, so before where my mod menu didn't work, now it does. And I can apply modifications to it as however I see fit. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. Um, yeah, if you need any kind of help or have any kind of questions in regards to how this entire thing works, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, join my Discord, I'll leave it in the description. Um, and also, if you like this model here, uh, just to kind of uh, put forward what I actually fixed on it. That's one of the regular illusion. I don't exactly recall the spawn code. I'll, I'll be 100% honest about that. Now, but essentially what I fixed on this model is, for starters, it didn't have day running lights like these. Uh, white beams that are on permanently it didn't have those to begin with so i fixed that and on the right side of the car it just period didn't even have like the setup for the day running lights so i also fixed that also obviously made the day running lights and so yeah that's basically it. if you want the model it's for free in my discord i'm not gonna charge you for it uh, it's in my channel called free dash release um, although you do have to react to a message to actually get verified in my discord to see it so yeah, um, like I stated, if you have any kind of issues with it, anything, if you have any kind of questions, feel free to ask away in either a, my Discord and my Ask for Help channel. Ask away in, preferably not my DMs, I do like to keep those somewhat kept away. Um, ask away in the YouTube comments section, it's completely up to you. Uh, if you liked the video, if it helped you, leave a like. If you want to know whenever I release a new video, subscribe. I am trying to ultimately get up to 500 subscribers. I'm currently at 420. Uh, funny number. Um, but yeah, uh, until further ado, stay safe.